In this key concept video, I'm going to give a basic overview as to how to derive a term. So the very basics, uh, I'm going to show you the rule over here on the left and then give an example on the right. Okay, so to differentiate a term, in here I have a coefficient of x, the variable here is x and the x has a power. So for example, over here the coefficient of x will be 3, the x has a power of 2. If I'm going to now derive this term, the process is we take the power, we multiply it by the coefficient, so b times a, and then we multiply it again by the variable, and then subtract one off the power. Okay, so that's the rule. Let's now go and practice it with this example here, and we have three terms that we need to do. Term 1, term 2, and term 3. We derive them individually. Okay, so to, to derive this equation, we call it y dash, or the, a more technical word would be y would be dy dx, so we're deriving equation y with respect to x. A short form is just y dash. Okay, let's do the first one. The 2 multiplies with the 3, so we have 2 times 3, and then times x to the power of 2 and subtract 1. So always just subtract 1. Next one now. When we just have an x, there is actually an invisible power of 1. So now we multiply the 1 by the 5. Now keep in mind, this 5 is negative. So it's going to be minus 1 times 5 times x to the power of 1 minus 1. We subtract 1 off the power. So that's the second term done. Now the third term here is called a constant. It's just a number. It's not attached to a variable. And constants, when you derive them, go to zero. So that we actually don't have anything here, so we don't write anything. Now we go and clean this up. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. x to the power of 2 minus 1 is 1. However, when we have x to the power of 1, we tend not to write the 1. So that will just become just x. Now the next term, 1 times 5 is 5 x to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0. Now let's talk about this for a second. x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Every, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 5 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 500 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Negative 200 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Infinity to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Everything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So if this here is equal to 1, it's actually 5 times 1 which is just 5. So I can actually delete that there. And that right there is the derivative of the original equation y. So that's the very basics. I recommend now going and practicing some of these questions in the question bank section in topic 7, Introduction to Differential Calculus. The next video will look at something a little bit more difficult when we have the variable on the bottom of a fraction.